The rather, President Uru Kenyatta has warned the judiciary against being held at ransom by individuals with interest in matters before them. Speaking at the launch of the State of the Judiciary and Administrative of Justice report, President Kenyatta reiterated that no one, including judicial officers, were above the law, even as he urged the Maraga team to support his efforts to rid the country of corruption. Chief Justice David Maraga defending judicial officers, saying they dealt with matters based on evidence presented. No Kenyan should be above the law. This simple point determines whether the rule of law is real or is limited. And I promise that today we would speak the truth. There is indeed a growing feeling based on events that judicial officers and legal professionals are beyond the reach of the law. Thanks to court orders issued and in other words, using the law to protect individuals from the law. This, I believe, is a profound assault on justice. It damages and endangers our constitutional dispensation, and if allowed to continue, risk casting us, with time, into judicial tyranny. The, the judiciary cannot apply one standard for others and another for itself. As we have said, a crook is a crook, whether in a judge or advocate's robes, and should not be treated any different from a crook in overalls. If the government has a good case, and I've said this before, we are under legal obligation to find in favor of the government. If, on the other hand, the government has a weak case, or some of its officials have flouted the law, we are equally under a legal obligation to dismiss that case. That, in, that, in such an eventuality, your, your, your Excellency, that should not be the cause of tension between the executive and the judiciary. I wish to add that those that um, support the judiciary in the due execution of its mandate, should also emulate that particular practice. Don't compete for headlines. Allow us, the political class, to do that. If you, you intend to investigate uh, or to arrest uh, Justin Muturi, just come and arrest Justin Muturi. Don't tell the world that you, you will actually be arresting him in about a week or two. The war against craft must be above board, multifaceted, and sustained. Ultimately, if the ongoing war on misgovernance and craft is won, it will improve not only the business environment, but the ease of doing business in our counties and Kenya as a whole.